The hospital treating former Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon says several of his vital organs are no longer working properly, not just his kidneys, as had been reported. Doctors at the hospital in Tel Aviv say the condition of the 85-year-old, who's been in a coma since 2006, is now critical and his life is in danger. Mr. Ariel Sharon, who is hospitalized in our hospital for the last seven years, shows some signs of deterioration during the following two days, with some critical misfunction or malfunction of some of its organs, including his kidneys, and some danger is expected for his life. In late 2005, Ariel Sharon was treated for a mild stroke. Weeks later, he suffered a second major stroke and has since remained in a persistent vegetative state. Reports from Israel say doctors are adopting a passive stance over his condition and believe if it continues to deteriorate, he only has days to live. Considered by many Israelis to be a war hero, Sharon led the 1982 invasion of Lebanon as defense minister. An inquiry later found him personally responsible for failing to prevent the massacre of Palestinians by Christian militia allied to Israel. He became prime minister almost two decades later. Despite promoting Jewish settlements, he caused surprise by ordering the withdrawal of Israeli troops and settlers from Gaza.